No more changing stations, you came to the right place. Turn off your televisions, they'll just get in the way. It's time to get to the point on 1073. Likes is on the air with locals only. Central Kentucky's Rock Station 107.3, The Point, Sunday night, locals only. Anton Mink and uh, Chloe representing Anton Mink. And uh, tell us a little bit about how the band got started. Maybe the maybe the name. I, it's kind of an odd name. Yeah, I didn't come up with the name. Uh, it got started because I wanted to, to sing in a band. And I just looked in the back of a, of a Leo, a Louisville, Louisville, you know, local paper. And there was a thing for a female singer. And I went out and uh, met two guys. Of course, I took my boyfriend with me because I was like, I don't know if this is going to be sketchy or not. And um, Bands would never be sketchy yeah. at all. <laughs> you just look at the pictures on my wall there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I went out and auditioned and they had already had a name in place. Mm-hmm. And the bassist, it was just me, a bassist and a drummer in, okay. in the beginning. There was no guitar. And he was a punk bassist, and he said that he thought it would be a good fictional punk character, like Anton Mink. Okay, kind of like a, a character or something like that? Uh, like if you were going to go see like a, a punk rock guy, right. Anton Mink. Anton you know? Mink. I, I could see that. I could see that. Tell us a little bit about, is the band playing out any places you've played out recently? or? Yeah, uh, well, we've been trying to do a little bit of out-of-town shows this uh not this weekend, but next. We're going to be playing in Moorhead at a place called The Front Porch. And um, this weekend, we're going to Nashville. We're recording our third album. Okay. And um, i got to go down and do, uh, we're going to do vo- uh, redo vocals and, and do guitar, like add more guitar to it. And after that, uh, we're going to do a show in Lexington. Uh, it's a at the college radio station there. Okay. And uh, then the next Louisville show, which is close enough for everybody to go to, probably, uh, is going to be at Tim Faulkner Art Gallery, and we're going to be playing with the Toonsmiths. Okay, and what's September do you know? September seventh. September seventh. Okay. Okay. And it's free. It's like a going to be like uh, during the art gallery. Okay. The first Friday trolley hop. So how is the, the, the record coming in Nashville, and where are you recording in Nashville? I'll give them a little plug there. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, we're recording at a place called Fry Pharmacy. Okay. And the the guys prefer analog, which I have to admit that uh, down there I was, I was impressed because sometimes I'm like, I don't really know. I, I only listen to the vocals anyway, to tell you the truth. And um, I was actually impressed by the equipment the guy had. Right, okay. You know? But uh, I got to record on a mic that I don't know if it's the same kind of mic or the actual mic that Stevie Nicks used to use. Okay, so that's, was, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. pretty cool yeah. to me. Um, but it's like an old school one room recording place, and okay. then I get to go back down and fix what I want to on my on my vocals. Okay. Um, well, look for a third record, and uh, we're gonna uh, dive back to the first record on a couple tracks you want to play tonight that you said maybe maybe uh, not online, maybe folks haven't heard them. Uh, Walls, you can tell me about this first one. Yeah, um, uh, well, the funny thing about it was um, the walls, we used to play it out when it was just bass, drums, and and vocals. And then, you know, we got a guitarist, and we'd learn, like, a set, but I, we'd always forget about the song. Everybody's forgotten how to play this song. I still know how to sing it, but everybody's forgotten how to play it. We never play it out, and I always thought it was a good song, so... All right. Well, let's check it out. Anton Mink, it's Walls on uh, Locals Only, Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 107.3 The Point.
All right. Anton Mink and Walls, locals only, Central Kentucky's Rock Station 1073, The Point, and uh, working on a third record. So you guys got three records out. When did the band start? When did the band get together? Um, well, let me think. It's probably about like 2004, 2005. Okay. We've had a lot of, we're like, we got that spinal tap drummer problem. And Everybody has a drummer problem that that, <laughs> that, that, like, that, that that exists with every single band. I think yeah. the drummer is, 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 he's his own person, wants to be his own person yeah. and, and wants to be the biggest rock star. A lot of times it's, it, that's, that's what it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We, we, we'd have had the drummer and then it was just me and the bass player. And then we found a drummer. We did this album and that was 2006 slash 2007 and then you know now it you know we we've got like we know we got like that nucleus now with like the guitarist the bass mm-hmm. and then me we're just you know trying to find somebody that's gonna to, that wants to be a part of the band right basically and uh so that's what i mean off and on without the drummer thing i mean that's a good eight years you know yeah yeah, a lot of bands it seems to me right now will will write a lot of their music and they'll write a drum a part for a drummer and then hire a drummer <laughs> and just kind of hire a drummer to come in versus join, you know, yeah. put them a part of the band. Cause a lot of times there's just a flakiness above yeah. <laughs> around them. So <laughs> busting on drummers tonight. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the guy that that's playing with us now, cause, um, he, he used to, he played on our second album. Okay. So it was kind of like, you know, we took a little break after we did that album and then we came back, and he he's a really good drummer. He plays in a bunch of bands. Mm-hmm. He just didn't have, you know, the time. So it's kind of cool that we got him to come back because he already knew, you know, the the first two albums were the songs. And, I mean, he's good. Like, we've been practicing with him, and um, he's just a good drummer. You know, he's a yeah. good musician because yeah. he's picking it up really easy. And it's hard to find a good drummer to, to yeah. stay with it, stay with the band. And I, I, I don't know why that is, but it's just, it's just a part of it. I have yeah. friends that play music for years and they're just like, um, I'm going to write it. I'm going to use a drum machine and then I'm going to go find a drummer. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's honestly, I have friends that write music. They put a drum machine on it and they go, I'm going to design how this drummer's going to play. And then they go hire a drummer. And that's, yeah. um, you know, in, in a lot of aspects. So they don't have, you know, Oh, I did, the drummer didn't show up. <laughs> yeah. Great. Great. Uh, tell us, tell me a little bit about uh, "Bleach White Light." This is another song on the on the first record that you said you don't play out a whole lot. Yeah, uh, this one is a little bit more. Uh, I I would think it has a bit more of a punkish feel to it. Um, basically, on the first record, I, I this song is I guess if you could sum it up, it's just um, talking about people that like sell drugs and then you know. It's just like the inevitability of somebody else like snitching you out. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's kind of gangster in a way. It's kind of gangster. It's some gangster <laughs> punk rock here for you tonight. Bleach White Light. Let's check it out from Anton Mink. It is locals only. Central Kentucky's rock station. 107.3 The Point. Look over your shoulder, hear the 
makes it easier to lie, to cry, to reach out and hide. Well, your cripple reach is going to subside, subside. White Light. It is Anton Mink, Locals Only, Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 1073 The Point. And if you want to be on Locals Only, uh, hit our website, 1073thepoint.com, uh, Locals Only, right in the center, and you click that and you send me a couple tracks, and that's how you get on the program. That's how it works. And to thank Chloe for coming in tonight. And uh, what else is going on? Well, you get websites up, tell folks, promote yourself. Yeah, um, we have a. A website. It's not very updated. It's Anton HTTP slash um, AntonMink dot com. I usually just tell people if they they want to check us out, um, just to find us on Facebook, and you pretty much can go to it's Anton Mink Band. You know, Facebook dot com. And then you know I, what I'll do is I'm going to go to the one hundred seven point three page, and I'll just paste something on there, make it a little easier. Yeah, of course, you can link on link off to it. We'll have the interview up a couple days later, and you can link off to them that way, too. But, uh, you know, of course, uh, Facebook, everybody does the Facebook. That's the, the <laughs> most up-to-date media versus websites. Uh, websites, uh, in a conversation with somebody the other day about, you know, just talking in our radio group about websites and how useful are websites versus Facebook. I mean, Facebook's useful in the sense of, you know, it's, it's kind of up-to-date. People up, updated, everybody updates their Facebook to some degree. Some better than others, or some just say, eh. We'll see. Okay, this is how it goes. The The website is WordPress, and I try to enter in some stuff, and it just made it, all the words crooked on it. So it's easier for me to go to Reverb Nation and, like, put the show dates in there. Okay. And then I'll put them on MySpace, too, just, like, what the heck. So you've got know, music like, on Reverb Nation, music on MySpace so they can check out. Yeah, and we've got a SoundCloud. You just basically, yeah, I think we got a couple other, like, little websites. Okay. That we I put music on. So a bunch of websites you got music on. Anton Mink and Pristine Chapels. This is off your uh, second record. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the second record and putting that together. Um, this one it was kind of odd. Uh, we went down to Nashville, not the same studio we're in now, to record, and I was pregnant when we went down there. So I probably wasn't the most pleasant person to be around. <laughs> 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 really a pregnant woman no, no i couldn't so no. uh we went down there and then um you know i had other stuff going on and i meant to go back down there and do the vocals and then i went back to school and had a baby so it took a whole year because i was like oh we'll go up there and then i thought that i don't know what i was thinking you don't know until you know you have a kid but i thought i could go with them being like a little baby in there no i like I had to wait till he's about a year old, and then we went and recorded the vocals uh, in Kentucky at a place in Glasgow. And Barrick uh, Studios. Yeah. Barrick Studios. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Familiar with those guys. And um, and so yeah, they they spent a lot more time uh, on the second album. They got to go down and probably use my vocal time. They got gotcha. to go to do a lot more musical stuff on this one. Okay. Tell us a little bit about Pristine Chapels. Um. Now this is a song we don't regularly play out. It's because they put it's 
it originally it didn't have organs on it and then they went and put that on mm-hmm. like organs and they put another guitar part in right. it. Right. Okay. And it, it they we just got so used to hearing that on it that it's you we don't want to play it out without the without the, the organ. Other, yeah, okay, it's gotcha. kind of sounds repetitive, but um I wrote that song about um someone passing away and then finding out I was pregnant. So, okay. Well, thank you for coming in, Chloe. Thank and, you for having uh, me. Anton Mink, Pristine Chapels, uh, check them out on Reverb Nation, MySpace, Facebook, and of course, <laughs> and we'll have the uh, link up on our website, uh, the whole interview if you missed it, here in about a week, 1073thepoint.com. Uh, let's check out Pristine Chapels right now. 1073 The Points, locals only. <laughs> Let go of 